Hey there guys, this is Bob Bubblegum here. If you did not want to watch the entire episode of the 60s video, um, I'm going to be doing a really short 10 minute one, so I'm going to go as fast as I can. We're going to get all the topics and we're going to be talking about the fashion, the history, um, the foods, the song artists, uh, the bands, all that good stuff. So first of all, we're going to be talking about the fashion of what people wore. Also, for a few facts, the 60s were basically the age of the youth, and around 70 million uh, children became teenagers and young adults, uh, such as the Berlin Wall was also built during the time, and the uh, creator of Mickey Mouse uh, died of cancer December 15th of 1966. For the fashion, they wore tie-dyed shirts. They wore uh, headbands and showed a lot of the bright colors. Um... People had really long hair and big beards during the 60s. So here's a picture of a person with a big beard. Uh, here, let me scroll this up quickly. Okay, and uh, our next topic is... Women like to wear short skirts. Not only not short skirts, they also wore retro shirts, which is like a button-up shirt. I will show you a picture in a sec. Men also like to wear bright shirts, and they wore tunics and capes. As for the men, they have long tie-dye pants, they have flares, um, they have the glasses, and they wore disco shirts. For the popular accessory for women, they included sunglasses, is because they wanted to protect their eyes from very unique styles. Behold the hairstyle. For the popular hairstyle for the men, the, uh, the mop top. It's kind of like a Justin Bieber haircut, but it's not like a Justin Bieber haircut. It kind of looks like a Harry Potter, but it's not like a Harry Potter. So, this is the mop top, and in my opinion, I think it looks pretty darn cool. The Jackio style is the most popular hairstyle for the woman. And, if you can, if you can see that picture okay, there's the little tiny uh, curls in the back. That is the Jackio style. Popular bands such as The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, and Jimi Hendrix. And uh, I will play like a little short clip of all the songs quick before we move on to our next topic. Yesterday, Yesterday by The Beatles in the 1960s. I love this song a lot. Well, actually, I haven't heard this song before, but once I picked it out for this video, I thought, man, this is a pretty cool song. And now for our next song. Hey Jude by the Beatles. Uh, also, it can be played in Spanish. I also like this song. On our trip to Minnesota, we would play this song a lot with my brother and some guy that worked with him. And it'd be a pretty great song to listen to on the way there, even though traffic was a bus. But still, this is a pretty good song. And now for our next song. This is The Purple Maze by Jimi Hendrix, and I never heard this song before, but it's, it's pretty good to listen to at first. Okay, for movies, uh, first movie is called Psycho. Uh, there's a murder on this, uh, this clip, quick clip, so I'm just gonna pause it once he shows up. So we have a girl taking a shower, and then boom! Do you guys see that shadow back there? Right there. Ah, Dr. Strangelove. In this scene, they're basically talking about the Doomsday Machine. Uh, I really don't know what it's about, but I chose the scene because it's talking about a Doomsday Machine. And now for our final movie clip. It's possible for this thing to be triggered automatically and at the same It's simple to understand. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Oh my gosh, after watching this, I am not going to be watching again. 
I mean, look at that face! Yeah, look at this face. I bet that will scare the crap out of you someday. Sports in the 60s, popular, uh, Canadian, or not Canadian football, um, no, this is Australian football, my bad. Boxing, alright, oh my gosh, boxing, hold on, hold, hold that thought, hold that thought, hold that thought, hold it, hold it, boom, right in the face. Ah, the old classic baseball. Nice catch. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, that was awesome. And Canadian football. Uh, this is an Xbox One gameplay version of Canadian football, but this is what it looks like. Favorite foods in the 60s includes uh, onion dip. It's called Lipton Onion Soup Dip. Look at that stuff. That's delicious. Desserts and salads encased in gelatin. And we have meatballs with jelly. Oh man, look at the, that stuff. That's so good. Rock Channel! Popular restaurants in the 60s. This is uh, JoJo. This is, I'm only doing the insides of the restaurants. So beautiful. Primala. This is a huge image. It is the Matai Mahal Deluxe. I think that's how you pronounce it. And the other restaurant I cannot pronounce is Val Clus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Presidents in the 60s. The first one is John F. Kennedy, the guy that got shot by um, Oswald. Eisenhower. President Johnson. And President Nixon. Uh, political scandals. Uh, uh, for a quick one, uh, this is Marlon Monroe was perhaps perhaps the most start cross lover in history. So what happened is, I'm not sure what happened, but she committed uh, suicide, and people didn't realize, but she was pronounced dead in her bedroom. Um, and then the truth still remains elusive. And there were a few wars during the time. Uh, there was the Vietnam War, and there was also the Bay of Pigs invasion. There were 1,353,000 deaths in the Vietnam War. Wasn't so sure about the Bay of Pigs invasion, but there were also a lot of casual casual teas as well. Many deaths. Inventions in the 60s. The first one is the satellite in the 60s. It helped many people out because without this type of technology, we wouldn't have a computer, we wouldn't have a phone, I won't I wouldn't have a Bob Bubblegum channel. So yeah, this invention helps a lot of people. And the cost would be like around five uh, sorry, $2,000 for each satellite in the 60s. This supercomputer helped many people with better communication. Um, um, each supercomputer was $5 million each, and there was 85 being transported, so each one costed eight, uh, $5 million each. And then we have the typewriter in the 60s. Uh, once again, also a communication device that will help many people out. And now we have keyboards. And I couldn't find the exact cost of the typewriter, so I do apologize if we couldn't find, find the cost. Alright guys, I think that's everything you need to know about the 60s. Thank you for sh checking out this really, really short video. I made it as short as possible, and I hopefully I covered everything. Now, a um, few announcements. Uh, new Toontown videos are going to come up really shortly. More Left 4 Dead 2 videos. Check out my previ previous video. Uh, this episode, uh, we have Greener on our team. Uh, his name is Tiberius, but we managed to defeat him. Voila.
Okay, so guys, once again, my channel name is Bob Bubblegum. If you want to click that like and view button, and if you want to subscribe, that would be great. So guys, I hope you all have a tremendous day, and we will see you all later. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and have a great day.